It had been a long, hot, terrible day. But now that day, the sun was setting, and none of my friends were around. I could not find them. I looked, and I looked. I walked the battlefield, and I saw a scrap of leather here, and maybe a trumpled banner there, but none could I recognize. We had won the day, but it did not feel like it. I had taken my lord to the edge of the shore, and he had sailed off with the queens and the barge, and I was left on the shore. So I returned to the field again, continuing to look for my friends. Where were they? What? Could I find any trace? And I was soul weary. Soul, soul weary. I found a tree and sat beneath it. I could, I was numb, could barely feel. And yet, I was tired, and I would close my eyes for just a moment. I'm not sure what woke me, but I opened my eyes, and the light was strange. The mists had started to rise, and yet... I could hear something. Actually, hear is not the right word. It was more like feeling it. A beating through the ground. I did not know what it was. I waited and I looked around and then I happened to look off into the west and I saw the mist and what appeared to be dust rising on the horizon, and yet coming closer. And as it became closer, the sound resolved itself to the sound of hoofbeats. And I heard, and I could see then make out these great white horses riding out of the west, coming, coming into the battlefield. They circled it three times, and then went to separate spots upon the field and stopped. And in that moment, I heard another sound. A great horn sounded across the, the field. And at that moment, the light shifted again. And it was bright. And I saw standing next to each horse my friends. I will not name them, for you know their names, and some who have no names. But they rose, and they mounted up onto the horses. And at that point, they looked as they had that morning. They were not battle-weary and injured and bloody. They were as golden and as glorious as they had that we rode out that morning. For this was not to have been a battle, this was merely a parley. But things go wrong, and battle was held. But here they were, back as I'd seen them that morning when we rode out together, smiling, and then they decided, then they started to gallop. The horses, they galloped around the field again, faster and faster, building up, I don't know what. And then they stopped, all together in a line, and they were facing me beneath the tree in which I sat. And at that moment, these warriors of old, 
reared their horses to me and brandished their weapons, saying, silently, we, we see you, brother. And then the horses decided, they rode out again and round and round the circle of the battlefield. And then they started into the west. And as they rode into the west, the mists parted and it seemed like they rode into great sunshine. And then the sunshine turned back to mist and fog and sunset. I'm not sure what I saw that day. I was sad, though, for I did not go with them. I could not go with them. And yet I knew there was a reason for that as well. For it was left to me to tell the tale of Arthur's knights, who rode into the west to be ready for the horn to call them again whenever the country needs it. So I share this tale throughout the world and all who hear it know that in the time when they are needed most, Arthur and his knights will return. <laughs>